Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio tutorial. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be going over modules, and more specifically, speed and productivity modules. Uh, this is something i kind of been planning to do for a while, but it's now partially inspired as well by a post I saw on the subreddit the other day. Uh, someone wondering about speed modules and, you know, if they're effective or when they're effective. And I figured it would be good to kind of go over all that in a general sense here. So we are in uh, the Earth map here. Uh, this is a multiplayer series I have going. Um, but I think this is a good example because we have a lot of modeled stuff going on here. Right? So essentially, we're going to focus on speed and productivity modules. It is worth mentioning the efficiency modules. Um, they do two things. One of them they do directly. Um, they reduce energy consumption, which if you're having power problems, these are fantastic. Uh, you can put them in pretty much everything. Um, there is a limit. I think they can only reduce a machine's energy cost by 80%. Uh, that they, they can never reduce it more than that. But if you're having power problems, these are great. Also, if you are on steam power, efficiency modules indirectly reduce your pollution. Um, their effect, like directly their effect, doesn't have that. But if you're on steam power, which uh, produces pollution from the boilers and, you know, the coal mining, all that, by reducing the energy cost, you're using less power, which means you're producing less pollution from the power. Now, if you're on solar, uh, as we are on this map, then you really don't need these unless you're just having major power problems. So that's kind of the deal with those, but let's focus on speed and productivity. So uh, the person who made the post, you know, kind of had a valid point, and, and without really looking into it, or if you're newer to the game, um, I can I can see how you would think this. And, and, and they said, essentially, you know, is speed modules, are, are speed modules really good? You, you know, because they're, they're expensive. I mean, speed threes are really quite expensive, and... And they were wondering, you know, why add speed modules to machines when you could just build a couple extra machines um, without modules and it would be cheaper uh, and more power efficient uh, because the speed modules do increase your power consumption as well by 70% for these level 3 guys. And we'll start with that. So typically, uh, they do have a valid point that typically you really wouldn't want to just speed a machine, um, or whatever it's making, um, you wouldn't want to just speed a machine by itself for, you, you know, or, and then on top of that, you probably wouldn't want the speed beacon it as well. Now, some things uh, you may want to speed module and speed beacon, and we will go into that in a minute, uh, one application where that can actually be really good, but you'll notice here, in pretty much all of our machines, we have productivity modules in them. And I'll explain why we're doing this combination in a second, but there are a few things. So like this, right? I mean, this is a little this is a little bit excessive. Um, practically, you really wouldn't need or want to do this, but um, these you can see we've speeded and, mo and uh, speed beaconed as well. Um, this is a bit excessive, as I mentioned. We really just wanted the materials like super fast, so that would be one reason to do it if you just if you have the power to spare and you have the modules and you just need something really fast um this is going to be easier at least than building multiple machines right so you know that that's one way to go but typically where speed modules shine um where their true power is kind of shown is when combined with productivity modules okay so productivity modules um at the cost of Pollution, power consumption, and a speed decrease, which may seem like a lot, a lot um, and it is, but uh, at the cost of all that, they give you increased productivity. And what this means, essentially, is they give you extra items um, over time for the same amount of resources, if that makes sense. Um, it'll be easier once I show you. So we'll focus on the speed three here just because this is what we have, and it's easy to understand because it gives 10% productivity. So, essentially, if we put four modules in here, max module slots, um, we're getting a total of 40% productivity, which pretty much means that we're using 40% less resources. Um, you can see this purple bar here. This is what happens when you add speed modules. Um, this is slowly progressing up, 
as we make items. And about every two and a half crafts ish, um, almost three, about two and three quarters crafts, we will get a free item. When this purple bar hits the end, we get an item, right? So for every several items we make, we get a free one. And that can actually be really impactful, especially for more expensive items such as a rocket control unit or other similar things. Now, a very important note for these is productivity modules can only be used on certain things. Pretty much, they can only be used in the stuff in this tab. Um, there may be a few exceptions. I'm not entirely, uh, I haven't tested every single thing, um, but typically they can only be used on intermediate products. So, you know, that's one reason why these solar panels and accumulators don't have productivity. We would love to, but you can't actually put them in here because you can see. Modules are only usable in intermediate products. So there you go. Um, they can't really be used on end products, if you will. All these intermediates are, well, intermediate, um, and they're used to make something else. Um, so you can use productivity on this. Okay, but this is why these are so good. Why speed beacons and speed modules are so good combined with these, because while we have a 20% for furnaces, since it only has two module slots, or 40% increase here uh, on, in productivity, that's all well and good, but in a normal machine, right, if I actually select something that can be used, um, in a normal machine without the beacons, you can see the speed is decreased by 60%. This is now at a crafting speed of a level one assembler, which is really slow. Um, the craft speed normally of these is 1.25, and this has now become the crafting speed of an assembler one. So without speed beacons, um, this is what you're left with, with and it's uh, painfully slow. You would have to have a massive amount of these um, to, to really get any reasonable amount of resources from them. But when you introduce speed beacons, a massive difference takes place. If we look over here, even though we have four modules, right, which without beacons is reducing it by 60% and giving us 0.5, with speed beacons, we are now at 340% increase in crafting speed, you can see down there, and a crafting speed of 5.5. That is 11 times, I believe, if my very quick math is correct, I think, close to, yeah, 11, no, that is 11 times what this is, okay? And that is multiple times what this is, like four point something time, not quite five times, but at least four times the speed of this, even though we have productivity. So not only are we making items faster than they normally would be made, we are also getting free items. And since the item is being made faster, we're getting the free items faster. It, it doesn't it doesn't change the amount of productivity, it just means that we, we get the bonus from productivity quicker since we're making items quicker, if that makes sense. Okay, now of course these take two megawatts a piece. Um, so you do wanna be careful of your power, That that is a, disadvantage to this you do want to make sure you are power conscious however this is a very good application so just really quick here um, so let's take these furnaces right even though so, so we have 20% productivity and we have these speed beacon so currently we have a crafting speed of 9.4 okay and a normal crafting speed of an electric furnace is 2 Okay, so we have a little more than like four and a half times the crafting speed here than a normal one. So if you were to not speed beacon this, right, even if you were to take these out, okay, we're now up to 10, but if you were to just build more assemblers rather than use speed beacons or speed modules in the thing, um, if you're using productivity, you would need many more times, you would need essentially four or five times this amount without the speed beacons to equal the speed we're getting in this very small area, okay? And with this, you would need, it, well, it's a crafting speed of 10, so you would need it like five times this amount without speed beacons to get the same production rate that you would from this one furnace, if that makes sense. So yes, it's power hungry, but it saves room, and on top of that, especially when you get into mega base scales like this, on top of that, it saves on entities. 
in entities, uh, you know, in medium, small bases, it really isn't anything to worry about, but in bigger bases, the more entities you have, the more calculations the game has to do, the more checks it has to do, and the more affects your UPS and FPS up here, and less entities is, is good, right? And, and that's what this is doing, okay? This is... This can produce a massive amount of, of resources, th these setups, these beacon setups. Okay, now, lastly, I want to go over and cover one application where the speed beacons and speed modules are actually good. Um, now, productivity modules are an option, um, and depending on your situation and personal choice, you can use them. But we're going to run over here, and again, you can see same thing, speed beacons, productivity um, in our oil. This is a very good application. You can see how quickly we're processing oil, and we're also getting a free amount every so often. Okay, and oil's a, a, a really good example because these things are big, right? I mean, these are big, big machines. Um, they have a crafting speed of 1, normally. Even with productivity in this, this has a crafting speed of 5.7. So... If you, if you stuck productivity in here without the speed beacons, you would need over five times this amount of machines here to equal the same amount of production we're getting from this little unit. It's, um, it, it, it really adds up quite quickly. So down here, over here, we have oil wells. Oil wells are one thing where pretty much maximum speed is a good thing, but only when they get to a certain point. Um, I think someone did the math, if I remember correctly, I want to say it's like below, I want to say 0.4 or 0.6. Once I get below that point um, is when you want to consider adding the speed modules. Beforehand you could, um, but it's really not necessary and possibly not even a good thing. Um, but these guys, right, so oil wells never get below 0 0.1, never. Um, they're infinite in that sense, that they never get below this. Now normally... This is 0.1 a second, so it essentially takes 10 seconds to get one oil um, if, if it's not modeled at all. Right, so if I pull these up and make sure that none of these are touching, and I pull these modules out, this is how fast we get it. 10 seconds to get one oil. That's like nothing, right? But we look at one of these other ones that we have speed beaconed and speed modules, and you can see. I mean, the bar can't even hit the end before it needs to go again. Um, this is 600% increase in speed, okay? This is working essentially six times faster than, than it normally would, right? So we are getting far more oil doing this than we would if we hadn't moduled it. And this is one thing where pretty much this maximum speed is a good thing if you do have the power to spare. Again, it is a bit power intensive, um, but if you have it, it's definitely worth, worth doing once your oil wells get down to this point. Um, you can put productivities in here, and if you max beacon it, um, in fact, it would just be easier to take them out and put them in one that's already beaconed. Um, so you can see, it is slower, obviously, it slows it down, um, by a fair amount, but we are getting free resources. Uh, now, personally, and a lot of people, um, you know, do, do agree that it's better to just do full speed on the oil wells um, and use your productivity modules on the actual processing is a, a better way to do it typically. Um, but it is up to you and your situation. So there you go. There's one good, you know, use for just going all out on speed because oil wells, um, you know, you don't have infinite wells on the map. Um, like you, you know, you can build infinite machines if you want. So the point of adding more rather than just full speed is valid. Um, but oil wells, you know, there's a limited amount, and oil becomes an issue usually for most people at some point, and this is a good way to kind of combat that, um, is just by doing this. So, I believe that'll do it, guys. A bit of a different video, um, but I, I just want, I felt like it was needed to explain this, this stuff. Um, now some of these, oh, those look like efficiencies all the way zoomed out. Um, yeah, and one last thing I want to cover here. I know this video is a little bit lengthy, but you know, I do want to explain, I think it's really important to explain the reasoning behind things, uh, rather than just, just saying like, you know, productivity modules and speed beacons are better, period. I want to explain why. So, um, another thing about using these speed beacons is, so beacons transmit 50% of the effectiveness of the module in them, right? So you can see down there on the right, uh, distribution of efficiency, 0.5. So they distribute 50% of the effect. 
We have two speed threes in here, which would normally be a speed increase of 100%, um, but this is giving a speed increase of 50, right, half of 100, um, to everything it touches. But this thing is touching, if you build it right, this thing is actually touching eight machines. This is touching this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this, and this. Now, if, um, if you don't do it this way, that's okay. It's still touching four, um, and in some cases, it is actually cheaper in the long run to use a speed beacon and have it touch multiple things like this than to just build more machines. Um, beacons are incredibly effective in that sense. And lining them up like this, um, every single one of these machines is touched, most of them. Um, a couple of these in the middle, not quite because of this RoboPort. Um, but if it weren't for the RoboPort, um, all these are being touched by six beacons. Um, and in each beacon is is touching eight things essentially, if you if you do it this way like top to bottom, that is extremely effective. Again, some of these not quite. Um, it depends how you build it, but that you're essentially distributing like once, even though you're using two speed modules worth, um, you're es essentially putting a speed module in eight different machines by just having a speed beacon touching these eight machines. With just one structure and two speed modules, you're effectively sticking in a speed module in eight different machines. And not only does that allow you to do it this way without taking up a slot, so you have an extra one for productivity, I mean, it saves you it saves you six modules, essentially. It takes two, but it's the effect of having one in eight different machines. So you're essentially saving six modules by doing this. And, and that's just kind of to demonstrate the effectiveness of beacons. Um, they're just incredible. Oh shit. <laughs> that scared me. Um, that's probably a good time to end it guys. I hope this is helpful. You know, if you if you were wondering about modules, I hope this gave you maybe a better idea of when to use them and uh, you know how effective they actually can be and and just kind of a, a better idea of of what you can do with them and, and the applications that are possible. But anyway, That'll do it for now. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or I messed anything up, hopefully I didn't, um, or any feedback, leave it down in the comments and I will read through it all. But until next time, guys, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.